And today on My Point Three Garage, how to paint with two Huskies laying a few feet from your uh, truck. This won't be a problem at all. We'll get around it. All right, welcome back to My Point Three Garage. Where have you been? Uh, actually, it's where have I been? I've been busy, so not uh, not working on the truck, obviously. In fact, uh, just now today clean the garage out so that I could get back to the truck again after a spring of uh, insanity um, with uh, trips and work and storms and all kinds of things. Anyway, so we have uh, changed our minds on the on the uh, 73 Bronco. The Stormtrooper, originally it was going to be all Dust Canyon copper, even the bottom was going to be that because uh, we wanted to kind of keep a classic look but also because I was gonna try to be lazy and not, not do a bunch of different types of paint on it. But uh, I've changed my mind primarily because I'm gonna be using this as an off-road rig. So um, I don't really wanna have the bottom compromised uh, with rocks and, you know, we live in Colorado, so there's a lot of gravel roads and dirt roads and stuff like that. So actually we're going to uh, bed liner the bottom. And uh, we've decided to use, went to Amazon, and we picked up some uh, custom coat and the custom coat is uh, inexpensive it has good reviews or at least the reviews that I looked at were good um, I haven't really seen anybody play with this too much um, so this would be a good uh, I don't know experiment to see kind of how this uh, reacts uh, to uh, to a, a guy that really doesn't know how to do it so uh, we also got the kit so it comes with uh, the gun as well. So we're going to try it with the gun first. We're probably going to do the front wheel wells uh, first and then depending on how that texture comes out we may reduce it and uh, and spray with a primer gun. So, so here we go. We're going to start by cleaning it. So to prep it we are we've already scotch brighted this thing once a, a long time ago but we decided we'd do it again get it uh, all cleaned up and uh, textured again. So I am uh, hitting it with Scotch Brite and uh, Mandy, the most uh, beautiful automotive assistant over the age of 40. Did is... you have to say the <laughs> name? <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they know. It's not. So. <laughs> I'm obviously going to edit that out so I can flip. <laughs> ah, and, uh, and Mandy's hitting it with our uh, hitting it with our degreaser that we built from um, rubbing alcohol and xylene uh, so we can get this thing cleaned up. I'm pretty sure this uh, bed liner will stick to Teflon so I don't think it's probably all that necessary to get it super clean but this thing is going to be awesome. So. Uh, minus a little bit of husky hair, I think we're in business. And then uh, now we're going to let it dry overnight and uh, in the morning, actually I take that back, we're going to tape off everything that we're not going to put bed liner on and uh, and then tomorrow morning once everything is dried out and the seams are dry from all the water, we're going to spray the bed liner on and then that part will be over. Then we're going to reverse the tape and prime the truck again and then we're going to paint. Here we go. I just taped it all up and uh, using a 3M application kit that I got from Eastwood. I, I think they cleared these out so maybe they don't have them anymore. Uh, but uh, the film is, one side is paint up and it keeps the paint from flaking off. Um, getting back into the paint. So as I'm doing this, I'm not trying to be perfect with the plastic because uh, I'm just kind of going over the top of the tape. And then I'm going to come back through since I, since I back taped it and I'm going to trace out the plastic so that it's uh, perfect. Take my razor and I'm just gonna go right along the tip here. Yeah, just 
just like that. Do you guys enjoy this, or are you just that bored that you like this? Watch a 48-year-old man play with cars. Yeah, it's 48 years old, man. That's that's like really old. I've got like liver spots on me in places that I shouldn't have it. And I'll leave it in there. I'm not going to edit it out. You, know? no, you think I have liver spots? What do you say, a 46 year old woman? I'm 45, so I don't know who you're talking about. Her, her's all not me. Mm hmm. Sure, yes. <laughs> don't be a jerk. I'm not going to help anymore. I'm not gonna help you. Anymore. You gotta pick your assistants wisely, men. <laughs> they can't all be Heidi from Tool Time. Oh, I've got a razor in my hand. I don't wish. <laughs> I don't want to cut your finger off. <laughs> oh boy. You better edit all this out. <laughs> I'm not joking. That's too much fun. It's not funny. Why don't we do this together? We have fun. <laughs> All right, back taped. Back taped! So I got it from Amazon. Uh, it comes with four liters of paint. Um, and then uh, it also comes with a shoots gun uh, for 119 bucks. And uh, I'll link this down in the uh, description there. And uh, it's also got like four and a half stars on it. So I imagine it's probably good. Uh, I bought some reducer for it as well, just in case. Um, and, um, but I don't think I'm going to be thinning it out. I'm going to test it first, and we'll, we'll try that. Uh, it also, and the, uh, we're also going to try the shoots gun, and if that doesn't work, we'll use our primer gun. So, put this thing together here. This is the gun assembled, and uh, it actually comes with its own regulator here. This custom coat kit recommends... 40 to 70 PSI at the gun, which is a little bit more than I thought it would be. Uh, so I'm going to adjust it back. I'm going to adjust it down to uh, 40. Uh, right about there. That's where I'm going to be shooting. So I'm going to start with the minimum. Uh, second step, uh, beer. There's no moving parts or uh, cutting hazards, so I think we're okay with that. And then the assembly, the assembly of the bottle. So I'm actually going to be spraying directly out of this can. So this comes two thirds filled up, and there's still one third left of air. Open this up, uh, fill the rest with hardener all the way up to the lip, and then shake the heck out of it to get this thing uh, uh, mixed correctly. Then we're going to shoot it. So I've shaken out my top coat. I think it's about as good as it's going to get, really. Open that up. Apparently this stuff stinks really, really bad. Whoa, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. And by the way, I couldn't find any gloves. Couldn't find any latex gloves anywhere. So I had to go to Home Depot and buy the latex, uh, latex meshy ones, which will work for this, I think. Be fine. Right, back to the drawing board. So uh, I'm not able to really fill this too well. So I'm gonna. Okay. Have not quite, but almost. That is all the way to the lip. All right, so we got the hardener in there. It mixed up. Looks like working time on this is 45 to 60 minutes. So uh, let's get started. All right, let's give this thing a shot and see what happens. All right. 
So it can go on too heavy. You're painting something. Yeah, finally. I'm only into one uh, liter of, of the four that I've got and all I got done was a single wheel well and uh, the front of the uh, uh, firewall tub and a little bit of one of the bottom panels. So um, I, I did put it on way too thick. Uh, it's running right here and uh, where I first tested it right here it's running a little bit. So uh, I'm going to go into the second um, liter, uh, a lot lighter weight. Now, I, I think I would probably want it heavier on the front, so maybe that's a good thing. Uh, but I only have four liters, and I still have like the majority of the truck left. So I'm going to this section right in here. I'm going to get way back in there. That's going to be hard. I would probably assume that this, both of the rear wheel wells, would be one liter. Probably, uh, I think I'm about a liter short. I think I'm a liter short. So the only other way to do this would be to reduce it a little bit and uh, and try that. So maybe that's what I'll do. All right. So liter number three reduced even a little bit more. So this one's probably closer to six, seven, eight percent, something like that. Number four, number four. So four liters uh, did about two thirds or three quarters of the truck. Still have the wheel well uh, on the passenger side, the passenger side floor pans, and the passenger side front um, uh, wheel well in, to uh, to spray. So I ordered two more liters, and I'm hoping to get that to work. Now uh, I did try three different versions of spraying this. I tried it straight with the um, with the four part system with one part being the hardener. Uh, that put on a super thick coat, um, although it was hard to cover. Um, thin, you had to go real thick and so I didn't get very far with the first liter. The second liter, I tried reducing it about six to eight percent and spraying it with a primer gun and that, that did not work. Uh, I think it was my primer gun that I was having the issue with. I don't think it was the fact that it can't be done because I, I know it can be done. Uh, so then I finished that with the shoots gun uh, and then the third liter which is what you saw I actually just reduced in the can 
uh, six to eight percent, and that's an estimate. So what I did was I uh, filled all the way up to the uh, the upper ring with um, hardener, which is what it suggests, and then I filled it from there to the top of the cap with reducer. Uh, which, in my estimation, based on sizes, you know, I don't know, six percent probably. It's probably closer to five to six percent. Uh, and and then I sprayed it. And actually, that, which is what this is right here, uh, I think it, for me was the best. So basically, it's a thinner coat. Uh, it was easier to cover without making it too thick, but it still has a very good texture. In fact, I think this texture right here is more even than the texture in the front. So, uh, so that's the way I'm going to finish out the rest of this. Hardener to the ring and then reducer to the lip. And I'm going to do the rest of this like that just to make it even and, and I bet you we get the, the coverage that we want. Um, tip on the shoot gun. So uh, you do have to clean the shoot gun or I should say I should have cleaned the shoot gun in between every single can. So what I noticed in the video and I didn't really realize until after I'd finished this is that when I was spraying it, the pattern got narrower and it got chunkier as I went along. And it was because I wasn't cleaning it, I was trying to hurry through it. And uh, with the air, I think, that was being pushed through there, the hardener was, I don't know, maybe, maybe hardening a little too fast. So at the end or in the middle of the fourth quart in the video, you'll notice when I was spraying, nothing was coming out. Uh, so I stopped the video there. I took the gun apart. I spent a half an hour cleaning it because it had already hardened in the tube. It was a, it was an absolute nightmare. And then finished. If you if you rewind back, I finished it, and it was spraying just like it was new out of the box again. So uh, so on the next two liters, I'm going to be cleaning the gun in between. That's going to help out my situation a ton here. Um, I'm going to finish it. I'm going to knock that out Friday night, late at night, and then the next video on the Bronco is going to be uh, a finished tub. I'll kind of walk you around it. We'll see if there's any, you know, thing that I missed or would have done differently on this. Uh, but so far, I like it. I think it's great. Uh, so, uh, also, I, I just put a reservation down on a new vehicle and that's going to be the next video um, and uh, I'm going to get some ideas on that. So, thank you very much for tuning in to My Point 3 Garage again. Glad to be back. We're going to get this thing whipped into shape. Have a wonderful day.